social media can be a helpful tool, but they can also be competitive. And I think often when it's a competitive relationship, that's where the family dynamic tends to, to suffer and our relationship with our children tend to, uh, tend to suffer um, as well. And so I'll give you, you know, as an example, um, you know, all, all of us as parents are guilty of some amount of, uh, of distracted parenting, you know, um, where our, our attention is split. And so maybe we miss out on some subtle cues. So perhaps by also trying to check my email and hear my daughter relive, you know, all of her experiences from, the, from her day in kindergarten, I'm missing an opportunity to clue into, you know, tone or inflection or to hear in that joy, but your voice kind of lilted at the end of that second phrase when you mentioned your best friend, you know, Sally, can you tell me what's going on there, right? And so, um, and so I think the, the influence is also, you know, bi-directional as well, that, um, that in terms of our parental awareness, and it isn't to finger wag it at parents um, too, but I think um, bi-directionally, you know, there are some things going on too that, that often kind of frustrate our abilities to be as present to one another. And so, um, and so there are some ways um, or some, you know, it's important for us, I think, in this time, especially to, to really think uh, conscientiously and intentionally about, you know, how do we encourage parents to kind of recognize that? How do we recognize that in our in ourselves as well?